what up what up we are back with more ea college football 25 content here today i am gonna be making a top five list of teams that i would want to do a dynasty with um it's going to be very subjective, obviously. We all have our favorite teams. You guys can see mine. Probably hate me already. Um, but, yeah, if you want to go with your favorite team, go with your favorite team. But if you're watching this video, you might be looking for some suggestions. So, um, I'm kind of picking unranked squads that are... It's like a rebuild type of deal. It's not like I'm not going to pick Ohio State and just have a bunch of five-star recruits ready to go, okay? I want it to be like a challenge where it's like, oh, they came out of nowhere and now they are a, an elite program type deal. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Um gonna first take you through the uniforms because that's a key your team's gotta have let's get this trash out of here first and uh at number five the drum roll of teams slowly going down the list uh we picked a tough one this is a tough rebuild here coastal carolina the chanticleers um Let's look at the uniforms first. We got these all blacks. Pretty good. I like the teal and black. It's a good look. Then it's white and teal. They got a nice clean set to them. These jerseys are hard. All whites. So you got some options. See, all blacks. White, teal, white. And then you can make a bunch of different combos with all of these, obviously. But that's kind of fun, coming out every week in some different gear. Um, but yeah, Coastal Carolina jerseys, probably like a B plus, A minus, I would give them. Um, so that's solid. You can always have a different combination. Now let's look at the teal turf, which is the biggest reason they're even on the list. She's looking beautiful in this Brooks game. Stadium in Conway, South Carolina would appear to be a far cry from the classics. But Chaucer would be very proud of the fight that his Chanticleers will bring to the teal. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the Coastal Carolina shot to clear. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the shot to clears will kick it away to start. Coming out with it, it's for Craig. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Red Raiders offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. Here he comes. And any time this guy touches the ball, and he will touch it plenty, a bolt of electricity just goes through the stadium, David. And yeah, they'll feature him. They'll give him the ball, like you said, a lot early, often. And he's a guy that can make game-breaking plays. All right, so Coastal Carolina roster. You got Matthew McDoom, badass name, 96 speed. Probably line him up at return, man, if he's not already. Um, but yeah, that's a good option there, but you only got three players over 81 here. Uh, but that's kind of to be expected. This dude could be a first-round draft pick, though. Shout out Matthew McDoom. Uh, but you got Noah Kim, star player, 78 overall senior. You got a 78 overall sophomore, so he could develop. It's not going to be loaded with five stars and 95s, and that's okay. Because that's part of the beauty of it. You start recruiting, you start winning. These players rise up to the challenge. I know they got a minute. 
I know it, they got it in them. These boys, this is, these boys got it going on. Got it going on, Bossa Nova. No way. No way. So that's number five. Number four team, we're drum rolling. We're going up. And it is going to be, let's see if I can time it up. Nope. Almost there. The TCU Horned Frogs. Okay, so another one. Dope mascot. Big frog guy here. Love those little guys. But TCU's always looking clean. It feels kind of strange putting them in a rebuild category considering they just went to the national championship. But, uh... I think they're further away from another title than than they are close to one, if that makes sense. They're they're not on the rise, um, but they've always got clean clean uniforms. I'm mad that they took away the spike collar that they had on their uniforms, but uh, they're always looking clean in the purple and black. It's a good look. The numbers look good. You can make a lot of dope combinations with this. They got plenty for you here. But their uniforms... Hmm. I'd probably give B plus A minus two. Uh, it's close to the Chanticleers. But, uh... I'd say maybe a little bit better. I think the numbers look a little cleaner. But yeah, they, they got a good look, and I love the frog logo. So, they're at number four here. Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas, and Amon G. Carter Stadium. And any time the TCU Horn Frogs take the field, they have a standard, a legacy, to live up to one that was established by the likes of swinging Sammy Ball, Davey O'Brien, and LaDainian Tomlinson. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Arizona State Sun Devils taking on the TCU Horn Frog. The Horn Frogs will kick it away first. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the Arizona State Sun Devils offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast. And that pass picked off. He'll try to take it back. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. You know, you hear a lot about So TCU's roster looks significantly better here. Got an 86 wide receiver off the bat, Savion Williams. Partner him with Aaron McAllister and J.P. Richardson. You got a solid ass... Receiving core, senior, junior, senior. Got an 85 safety in Bud Clark, 82 corner. So you got decent, decent half of the secondary going on. Trey Sanders, 80 overall running back. You got a good pair of linebackers. You could probably move these guys around. Um, good tight end, another good running back, another good safety. So the secondary is pretty strong. Let's see what the quarterback situation's looking like. You got Hoover. Shout out Josh Hoover. And then you got a freshman with 91 speed, 74 overall. So I'm always looking for a scrambler. And this dude's fast. Hausch Hezny. Damn, a little fast German boy. Okay, so you got the fast German boy. Um... Yeah, they got some players a lot, a lot around 75, 80. 
Um, so, but but like I said, this is a good team to rebuild. They got some pieces. They're in Texas, so it'll be a little bit easier to recruit. They're the frogs. That's dope as shit. They got good uniforms. They got a good good stadium atmosphere. Um, and they've been to the national championship recently. So they got that championship pedigree. TCU Horn Frogs coming at number four. Uh, let's go to three. Can't do that shit. It is Maryland. So the Maryland Terrapins. So we got the Chanticleers, the Horned Frogs, the Terrapins. There's some unique team names here. Maryland, 80 overall, 75 offense, 80 defense. Not great. You know, they need some help. They need... They need a new coach to come in here, put the boys to work. Get people to fear the turtle again. Like the Sean Merriman days. Dequell Jackson, Stefan Diggs. Um, but yeah, their uniforms, usually they've got a bunch of options. I love the, uh, I love these script helmets. I wish they had the turtle shell pattern. I didn't love the flag that they were doing. I'd like to see it as an option, but not the primary. But the helmets are nice. Uh, they don't have as many jersey options as um, Coastal Carolina or TCU or some of the other teams I have in this list. But that all black looks clean. That gold jersey's clean. They've, they've got a lot of good looks here. White on white on white. Red, red, white. You could do all reds. Red, black, red. So they got some good options. I'd probably give them a solid B. B for the jerseys. Uh, for the uniforms. Just because... Uh, they don't have as many options, but that looks hard. Like, I love I love playing with the Terps. This one's a little bit of a biased pick, just because they're all biased picks. It's my subjective list, but I've always had a soft spot for the Terps. I want them to be good, and one way you can do that is dynasty mode, baby. So m make some people fear the turtle. Uh, they got some clean, clean uniforms. Not as many options as the other groups I have on here, but good look. They need some help. Big Ten Conference, that's a bonus. But yeah, coming in at three, we have the Maryland Terrapins. Welcome everyone to College Park, Maryland in the house that's been built by guys from Boomer to Diggs. Home to the Maryland Terrapins where the fans are eager to welcome visitors into the shell. A Big Ten showdown is coming. Conference implications of plenty that could resonate for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Illinois Fighting Illini taking on the Maryland Terrapins. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Oh, no, I will kick it off to get us underway. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Maryland Terrapins offense will get the first crack at it here. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Number three, we got the Maryland Terrapins. You got Reuben Hippolyte the second. 
one of the most badass names you'll get in this game. Solid ass linebacker, 86. You got a good fast running back in Roman Hemby. Solid, solid uh, keys to the secondary here in Jalen Husky. Dante Trader Jr. Good wide receiver, one and two combo, both seniors. Eight players, 80 or above. It's not bad. Let's take a look at the QB situation. Billy Edwards Jr. He can run a little bit. Uh, but you don't have a star in the QB room. Um, let's see. He could turn into something. Be like mid-80s maybe. MJ Morris, sophomore. That's how they get their ratings. But uh, the Terps, they got some talent. You can recruit well in the DMV. It's a nice pipeline. Um, they're in the Big Ten, so that helps conference prestige. If you can win a couple of those games, get a Big Ten title, you can crack into the playoff. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll be a challenge too because you're looking at the big dogs. You got the Oregon's, the uh, the Ohio States, the Penn States. Um, the USC's now, the Washington's. Are there any other good teams in the Big Ten? Uh, all right, and then number two. Let's go to number two. Like I said with TCU, it was a bit of a cliche pick. This one is also a bit of a cliche pick. The Boise State Broncos. Um, I feel like they're kind of like the underdog of the BCS era. They were like, they were kind of the inspiration for the dynasty mode rebuild It's just a small program coming out of nowhere, winning games. They beat Oklahoma in that classic. Um, but they've kind of had the standard of just winning and winning and winning. So it wasn't really going to be a rebuild back in 14 when you did a dynasty with them. They were already going undefeated every year. Now it's a little bit different. Um, the Broncos aren't the dominant non-Power 5 force anymore. They're not going undefeated every year. But they still got the blue turf. And they, get, they got good uniforms, man. These... These uh, current homes, sleek as hell. I'm just going to flick through these here. Look, white on orange on red. All orange. All white. I just love having the options to... to look at that all black. That helmet is badass. You got the metallic horse. Black and gray. And then you got the the gray horse on black. Look at look at the helmet options they have. It's hard, man. And these are these are awesome. So it's hard not to pick Boise or consider them. Uh, great jersey options. Obviously, they got the blue turf. We'll, we will go into that. We will see that. I promise you. Um, but yeah, I can't even like flick through these all. I'm running out. Now they got the metallic orange horse. I definitely give their uniform combinations A. A at least. Definitely an A. A plus is like perfect. I don't know. I don't even know what I'd improve here. Maybe like a gray one. Gray uniform. Gray jersey rather. But... Yeah, their uniforms are great. Their overall, again, 82, 78, 80. Same boat as TCU. So you're building them up, but they've got some talent already. Um, and it'd be a fun rebuild. Welcome to Boise, Idaho, where fans describe a home game in one way. We get them on the blue, and that typically means trouble for anyone who tangles with the Boise State Broncos. 
Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake, as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Illinois Fighting Illini, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Boise State Broncos. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you, alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys can't wait to get this one started. Illinois about to kick it away to get things started. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Boise State's offense will take the first swing of the game. And they're led out there by a man who will carry the ball plenty in this one, guys. Well, it's real simple. He's the best player on their team. They have got to force feed this guy the football, David. No doubt about it. The offense goes through him. Excited to see how they built this offense and how many different ways they can get him touches. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He's going to run it. Got room at the 35. And oh! Boise State, the blue people, the blue Broncos. Uh, you got Ashton Genty, Genty. Apologize if you're watching this, Ashton. Hope I got your name right. But a 91, 91 overall running back right off the rip. Uh, and then you got Hassanine, the left end. 87 he's solid got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten 80 and above you got victor oladipo just kidding sayi uh andrew simpson and then this is a big this is why i put him at two this is the main reason i put boise state at two is malachi nelson five-star quarterback freshman 81 overall 86 speed he was he transferred from uf usc under lincoln riley and he's basically a free five-star recruit at quarterback which i don't even think there's any other teams that have that right now you saw dante mori transferred to oregon so you already got dylan gabriel and they're ranked so like I don't have it. Is Boise State ranked? Boise State's ranked, then I'm an idiot. But they'd still be a fun dynasty to rebuild with because they are. They, they've been not the Boise State we're used to. Um, and Malachi Nelson, that is why they are number two. Because that guy is going to be fun to play with in this game. And it takes the pressure off of getting a new quarterback right away. Because you have a dog right off the rip and now ladies and gentlemen the number one team that i would use for rebuild dynasty is the memphis tigers okay they're over they're already pretty good 85 85 82 um, their conference, what conference are they in? Whatever, but, but look at these uniforms. So those are nice. Those are nice. You got the M on the helmet with the classic logo, the tiger stripes, kind of like a blue Cincinnati Bengals vibe. Go Browns, but I do like the Cincinnati tiger stripes. And then you got you got the Bengals helmet, white with blue stripe, blue with white stripe. Different, different jersey, gray with blue stripe, gray on gray on blue socks. They've just got so many options, white on black. Like, every helmet, they have something to match. Boise State did, too. Blue with gray, like... 
Like, you could make so many combinations with these. These go so hard. The metallic blue on the black on black with the gray accents with the blue. These jerseys are, honestly, I think it's got to be A or A+. Plus these jerseys because I'm still going I'm still going with these alternates and the, all of these look great they look clean as hell the little like hatch in the in the corner of the zero the stripes on the shoulders they got they've got everything look they got the bangles Monday nights whatever those shits are but yeah, those, and then it goes to that, dude. You got, th you could run out this. You could run out this. These are A+. Plus. These are A-plus jerseys. I'm still going, oh my god. Look at this shit. This is, this is a big reason why they're number, well, I mean, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Okay, we're back to current home. And they still look good. Okay, so yeah, jerseys A+. Plus. Memphis. On the banks of the Mississippi River, home to the king of rock and roll, and also the Memphis Tigers, where the fans have moved the party from Beale Street and are ready for kickoff. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we see the number seven team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on a team from the AAC, the Memphis Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Memphis ready to kick it off and get things started. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. So Penn State's offense will have the first possession of the game. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the... Everybody in this stadium also knows they don't give a shit what you have to say, Jesse. So yeah, they've got an 89 QB. He's a senior, but it'll at least give you one season where you got a guy that you know is going to put the ball on the money, and then hopefully you can recruit another one. Um, and then he's got an 88 receiver, Rock Taylor. Love seeing that. And then another 85 receiver, or 88 receiver. He's got good people to throw to. Strong right guard. They got a bunch of 80s. They got a bunch of 80s. Let's see here. 13 80 plus players. So, and they're in a weak conference. So you are set up to dominate your conference. Dominate the conference. You start winning. Recruits start coming in. You got Ra'el. Taj Ra'el. That's a badass name too. It's almost like uh, Amon Ra. Sounds like some sun god shit. Um, so yeah, you're going to need to recruit a quarterback. Because you got an 89. Followed by a 68. He's got speed. But... Uh, that is a drop off. Running back. Running back, you'll have another 80 next year with some speed. You got three 80 plus receivers. That always helps. Um, decent tight end. 76 line. All the lines are kind of, kind of all around the 75 to 80 range. On all of these teams, except maybe Coastal, I forgot. But uh, 86 right guard, that's big. Mm, 76 tackle. 
D line. D line isn't the greatest. You got some. You got a good linebacking core. Got a good. You got a good uh, number one corner. Uh, and you might want to move these safeties around. Get both these guys on the field. But it's a good roster. It's a good roster in a weak conference. But now with the 12-team playoff, you run the table, you win your conference, you get in. So um, you don't necessarily have to go undefeated to make the playoffs as Memphis. But you're kind of set up better than anyone else in, in this list to go undefeated in your conference. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. Um... Coastal, TCU, Boise, Maryland, Memphis. These are my kind of sleeper rebuild teams. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment, see, tell me what you want to see next. Tell me who you're making a dynasty with. I'm pumped to hear about what everyone's doing in this game because I'm just happy it's back, baby. Uh, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Don't destroy me too much. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.